friend here, Aiden Tao. Stand up, please, for everybody. See. We are grateful that you had to spend some time to come here and spend time with us and just to fellowship with us and just to have a meal together. 
we are proud of you for how far you have gone and how motivated you have been in life. You know, never taking no for an answer. As a Hmong community, we don't really restrict ourselves, but at the same time as you know, we always want to reach for the top. As long as everybody else, everybody wants to reach for the top. I am grateful to see so many leaders here. Uh, Sheriff Scott Parks, it's been a while. Are you still as tall as you used to be? <laughs> it's nice to see you, Scott. And then everybody else, come to the Mongo Yi Sing. Thank you. Ta Xiao Yong. I would like to honor the uh, Wisconsin uh, this, uh, Bearcat County 18 Clan Council leader here, who, along with his, uh, his Vice President, Sultan Oje. And with that, I welcome everybody. I'm happy to see everybody here. And I kind of didn't get to eat yet. That's why. Thank you. เอ่อยังตั้งชื่อตัวเป้จังหลัวเจ้าจากที่นี่จากเป็นต้นเป้จังหลัวจุดยังรู้เจ้ารู้จ่อเอาเลยเป็นตัวหลังเอ่อกู
Mengenai yang luasan, itu lupa mana itu si tanah itu cuci je. Nukah mengah lah, nukah itu cinta. Jauh kau lah itu si. Ia lebih penjauh pan. Penjauh pan, kau mana itu jodoh seperti jalan nanti itu jodoh jual lagi ni lah. Ia jadi nak jatuh saya kira itu si nak. Lautu nak kira jadi kau yang kau kau tu. Pecine mung pecine Amerika nyata luti tenan. Karena kau yang saya tak kuat, dia tak cakap. Nous tous les deux, nous avons fait la paix de la paix de la paix. Nous avons fait la paix de la paix de la paix de la paix de la paix. Nous avons fait la paix de 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 la paix. Nous avons fait la paix de la paix de la paix de la paix. Nous avons fait la paix de la paix de la paix de la paix. Nous avons fait la paix de la paix. Jadi ini cuma nak cik lah, cuma ni cak si cak itu cak betul ya. Ni cik cak itu si cik ni cak ke lap yang yang lap lap terpakai cik cik mulai yang tanda si na ni cak tu jangan cai. Nanti pergi ni mung dia, pergi ni Amerika, saya nak cik opong yang si ni cak orang dia cik jom opong yang si mana dia ni muda si na ayah dia ya cik muda. Ini yang nak kalau sama far ni. Tahu kan? Gua hai lah gua ke lo cak jom. Lu kong ho tak sih nak put tua na, eh put tua na, ya cuma kalau cara sun, apa sun dah pe, eh kau benar, terus terus eh di mana, eh terus terus santai, kau cintai ke, pe ko produk pah ni pun lah, pe ni put tua ni, kalau lagi sedikit na, ho cakap put tua, eh service ni pah, pe ni nuk pah dah, eh cara lu suruh sih na je, ya cuma kalau cara sun, janda, wan dokter pergi ke tu cuti, na tau kacau, na ya ya itu. ต่อเลิกไปจะจะยังน่าสติเอ็นเลิกสักมุกเก่าจ้าวว่านั่นสรุปเกมเดียวเขาเลิกกันจริงเยอะๆทุกเรื่องคุณเท่าชาติได้ว
for having us. Pe chong hong do cho cho na chu me ka thia pe cho pe sang nyo cho lung te chu me ka no jong xie cho ko cho ke mua bang su shi tu mua yang o pe jo cho la le and to Eden, we are very proud of you for having done a great job and having won several times and your race. We have high hopes that you will accomplish many more things and win many more races in your future races. Let's all give a big round of applause to Aiden Tao. So, the people who are living in the world are Furthermore, you are a uh, son to the entire Hmong community who has a lot of courage to for all of us. We're very happy to hear that you are your Hmong. Moving forward with your courage, the rest of the world will know that us Hmong also have a lot of courage. No matter what country you end up racing in, you will be a representative for the United States of America. Whether you win or lose, you have the full support of everyone here in the country. Let's all give a big round of applause for welcoming us Hmong to the United States of America. Thank you to this country for giving our people an opportunity to participate in races, sports, and events. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, good evening. As was said, I am the Marathon County Administrator, and I have a really great job, apart from all the money, the $200 million. Uh, I, it's directing the opportunity every day to direct a team of over 750 people to really make an impact on our community and make us the healthiest, safest, and most prosperous county in the state of Wisconsin. Now, to do that well, we really need to maintain a very strong connection with those that we serve. And as an organization, we challenge ourselves every day to continue to learn about our community. And the Hmong community is such an essential, important, and vibrant part of that community. So in my role, I've had the opportunity to, to meet some amazing leaders in the Hmong community. Now, Xu Zhang, Meng Hu Zhang, and Yi Ling Zhang, people that are really passionate about preserving the history of the Hmong people, the veterans, the history of veterans of the secret war, and leading our community into the future. And it's a, a real pleasure of mine to be here with the other leaders in the room today. Sheriff Parks, Mayor Rosenberg, uh, Representative Snyder. Uh, we have Meng, where is Meng? Is Meng here? He's listed. Uh, Lot is here. Um, such, Meng's back there. <laughs> um, you know, really, our community is so blessed to have so many people here today, and I think it speaks volumes about, again, the, the real important role that the Hmong community has in making Marathon County the great place it is to work. So again, a great part of my job is I'm 
being able to, on behalf of the Maritime County Board of Supervisors, get to meet uh, amazing people when they come to the community uh, to really sit down, have the opportunity to speak with them, and explain, again, how great Maritime County is to live. So earlier today, I had the opportunity to meet Aiden and his father, and to hear them talk about what he's been able to accomplish in the short time period from age 15 to, to 19 is truly amazing. 35 first place finishes out of 52 races. I can't imagine that he's been able to do that after only being on a motorcycle four years ago for the first time. He's such an incredible talent, really a generational talent. When Yi Ling asked me to be here this evening and say a few words, um, he provided me some information on Aiden. And for those of you that don't know, I have an 11 year old son. And we sat down and we looked at the information and there were a number of words that Aiden highlighted. They were focus, compete, improve, persevere, promote, and vision. Those were the uh, pieces of information on the materials that Yi Ling provided. And when I sat down with my son, I think there's one more word that he needs to add to that list, and that's inspire. And, and I know that, and you heard this from the earlier speakers, I know Aiden and his family are an inspiration within the Hmong community. As the first motorcycle racer of Hmong descent, that certainly comes with the territory. And from my brief interaction with him earlier today, I can tell he takes that responsibility very seriously. He is that role model, showing others in the Hmong community that they can truly accomplish anything. But I want to be clear, uh, he and his family's story is more than inspirational simply to the Hmong community. He is simply inspirational to the entire community. Whether he's on the track at Road America or on the international circuit in Thailand, he shows young people everywhere what is possible with hard work and determination. And that's really the story of the Hmong community, and that's the story for everyone in the United States. As was said before, it's the land of opportunity. With focus, determination, truly anything is possible, and Aiden is showing. It's a pleasure to welcome Aiden here today, to take time to come to Marathon County to inspire people within our community to challenge themselves, and it's my honor to be here on behalf of the Marathon County Board to speak with you and again, welcome you to the community. Aiden, good luck. You've accomplished great things and we have no doubt you will continue to do so and have great success and continue to inspire all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Slaughter. Let's welcome Mayor Katie Rosenberg. Thank you so much. Um, Good afternoon. I want to thank uh, Hmong American Center, uh, Wisconsin United Coalition of Asian Associations, and the Central Wisconsin Hmong Professionals for allowing me to join you today and celebrate Hmong excellence and the barriers that people like Aiden Tao have completely busted through. So I had the honor of talking to Aiden, his dad, his manager, and of course Yi Lang Zhang this afternoon in my office. Uh, they shared with me that Aiden is a world-renowned motorcycling uh, mo and motorcycle racing, and that even though he started at age 15, that was considered late. And there's a lot more involved in racing than just riding, and that in order to be successful, you have to surround yourself with the right team. Um, and it got me thinking, uh, you know, racing motorcycles is kind of like being mayor. Um, that idea sent me down a rabbit hole, uh, and I found a bunch of articles about what it takes to be a good motorcycle racer. And the number one thing that was reiterated over and over is that it's really hard to be good when you first start out, but that you really should avoid the hard stuff. You need to practice at it until you master it. Uh, the one thing that was reiterated over and over again is that it's really hard to be good at first, and it takes practice to master it. So I started reading these articles as though they were telling me the secrets of leadership. And honestly, I think uh, we got there. So I wanted to make sure I shared with you the top five leadership tips I learned from trying to understand the skills that it takes to be a good motorcycle racer. So when I was watching some of the videos about motorcycle racing, they were all the highlights. And Aiden himself told me that when he really gets going, he can go up to 150 miles an hour. 
Yeah, 150 miles an hour. That is scary fast. And while it's really important to be able to get going that fast, there are parts of racing that include going kind of slow. So that's the first leadership lesson. Uh, practice at slow speeds. Because when you need to keep your balance or negotiate a tight juncture, you might be going slow. And sometimes I think going slower is actually harder than going fast. Uh, when you're zooming along, um, either in racing or policy making, you have that momentum of sharing the effort. And when you're going slow, it's all based on your own skill and your ability to control yourself. So that brings me to my second leadership lesson, push steering. So before this afternoon, I had never heard of this concept, um, though after reading about it, it's basically uh, physics. Uh, you can see an example of Aiden push steering in the flyer for this event. It's where he's really leaning into those turns and almost magically hovering just inches above the track. So instead of fighting with gravity to keep yourself up, you're really leaning into the curve. In leadership, that means negotiating the hard stuff head on, really just leaning into that. So the third leadership lesson, uh, you need to know how to make a sharp turn from a stop. Now Aiden is an amazing racer and has placed in dozens of those races, um, but he shared uh, that even though he's amazing and he's talented, uh, you sometimes crash or need to avoid a crash. So uh, the biggest thing about uh, making these sharp turns is that you have to make sure that you're looking at where you want to go. So when you're a leader, it's easy to get sucked into some of those day-to-day -day machinations of operations. And while that's really important sometimes, <coughs> your team mostly needs you to look ahead to where you all need to be. You need to be the visionary, and you can only do that by looking at where you want to be and revving your engine. So, and that flows directly into this fourth, fourth leadership uh, slash motorcycle riding tip. Uh, you have to be really good at quick stops. So whether you need to avoid smashing into somebody uh, in front of you, or you realize you're moving in the wrong direction, uh, you need to be able to brake at high speeds and redirect yourself. It's gonna be uncomfortable. Uh, you might be temporarily shoved by momentum into a really awkward position, but being good at stopping at a dime so you can do what's right in racing or in leadership is ultimately better than crashing, hurting yourself, or hurting others. So lastly, this is my favorite leadership lesson and racing tip, relax. Yeah, no. So you have to practice relaxing and avoiding <coughs> panicking so that when you hit a bump, minor or major, you don't overreact and do more damage. In racing and leadership, that means once again, looking ahead and knowing what's out there and could be a potential hazard. And that knowing a hazard is coming can help you predict what to do next in due time rather than needing to yank on your brakes. So the biggest thing about relaxing is to uh, ensure you're in control of your decisions, give you that extra split second, and, and make sure you know how to execute your plan. And you can't do any of that if you're too worried about what's next. So thank you once again for inviting me to celebrate with you tonight and welcoming you to WASA. Aiden, you are an inspiration for all of us here, and I can't wait to see what you do and who you inspire to be our next standout in our community. Before uh, I get started here, I'd just like to, uh, again, have a big hand for our veterans here tonight. Let's give them one more big hug. Well, it kind of all started with you veterans and, uh, and these things you went through during the war and, and things of that nature. I'm so honored to be asked to speak about Aiden. I, I looked at the accomplishments that this young man has. First of all, I hope some uh, motocross accessory business has got you locked up as a sponsor because uh, not only are you tremendously good, but you look pretty good as well. So I would grab you right away if I was a motocross accessory. And I think to myself, everything that Aiden has accomplished in the four years he's been racing and the high level of achievement he's had, what else can he do with his life that's going to be amazing? And I'm looking forward to it. You know, I was fortunate enough to really begin my experience of learning more about the Hmong culture and, and the Hmong people when I started working for Congressman Duffy back in 2014. And continues now as your representative in Madison representing Wausau and the metro area. 
And I would have been fortunate enough to attend Hmong funerals, Hmong weddings, clan festivals, as uh, well as even blessings for Neshua. And they all have, in my observation, a couple of things in common. What I observed is they love to toast. They <laughs> toast everything. <laughs> so you better be ready. And the rest is they have impressed me because they are so family oriented. And I think the success that Aiden has in my observations kind of comes from a blueprint of success that the Hmong community has experienced over the decades. You know, going back to Laos, when the war was ended, the family was together and moved to the refugee camps in Thailand. And in Thailand, the family stayed together. And from Thailand to the United States, the family unit stayed together. And it's something that helped you through coming to a land where the language was different, the climate was different, and there was bigotry. And upon coming to America, your grandparents and your parents knew the way that you were gonna succeed and achieve the best you can achieve is through education. And through education, the young people now today are growing up and becoming folks like Aiden. They're becoming professionals in the medical field, in the business field, as well as politicians, police officers, firefighters. They are making their presence known and achieving and still keeping that family unit. And as a tribute to the parents and grandparents and the next generation, we saw tremendous dance, a tremendous singer and things tonight before we started speaking and it just goes to show we are making great strides and there's a lot more to come and again why why i meant that you have a blueprint of success is because your family unit stayed together and you were able to achieve success against so many terrible hurdles to overcome and what we as a country can learn from your example is how important the family unit is. What it shows is that as, a, as chairman of the Children and Families Committee here in Wisconsin, I see the family unit really being ravaged and it's taken an effect on our young kids today. And that's why I would love to be able to share the blueprint of success that you have overcome to be able to achieve the things that you have so far. And also, I just believe that this should be something in our educational books. Right now, we know they're teaching our, our students here in the, in the state of Wisconsin about the Vietnam War and about uh, fleeing Laos and coming to America, but its story ends there. I want to carry it further. I am working on legislation over the past couple of sessions with uh, several of my legislative colleagues on making it a mandatory that our public schools not only teach the Vietnam War and the help that uh, the Hmong have given to the U.S. soldiers, but I want to expand on the hurdles they crossed and the successes you've had in the decades that follow. I want to thank you again for inviting me to this. I uh, enjoy it immensely. And Aiden, I can't wait to be looking at a TV and say, I met that guy. So, congratulations. Hello, Nyashong, Chongdu, Chibi, Shonlayong. I just want to say a few remarks in Hmong before I continue on. So, Peggy, you can have a seat. Jong Sha Chong, Tla Tla Hou Zhu, Bish. I eat Jong Ma Zhi, Get Ling Jong, Shou Tla, Gu Yang Man Xiong, La Shi, La Ho Ba Ba Yong. Shou Ge De Bin Lu Gong Hong Hua Kma. Yang Hu Wa Sa No. Jong Sha Ge Bish Shou Tla Ha Dao Xin Qi. Shi Gu Ha Dao Zai Aiden Han Nan Zi Yao Zhou Wisconsin. 
Um, good evening, everybody. My name is Mayne Zhang, and I am the first female executive director of the Wisconsin United Coalition of Mutual Assistance Association. It's a long name, Walk Mom. Um, and I am so honored to be here tonight. So thank you to Yilang uh, at the Among American Center for bringing us all together and creating these very intentional spaces um, and opportunities for us to come together and amplify and elevate the amazing young professionals that we have here. Um, it is so amazing to me that it's 2022 and we still have a lot of firsts happening in our community. Um, and so I hope that through all of these wonderful speakers and words of wisdom that we have heard tonight, that it continues to inspire everybody and to empower us to dream even bigger and that no dream is impossible, right, until it's done. Don't you dare let anybody tell you that it is impossible. It is 2022. I think COVID-19 has really brought forth the barriers that we all face, but that nothing, again, is impossible and that the world is our oyster. How dare we not support each other? How dare we not be intentional? How dare we not be the ones we we're waiting for? We are all just dreams. It's happening right now. This is it, it is us. And I could not be more proud to be in the presence of Aiden Tao and his family and so many other amazing individuals in this room. Um, Yiling Zhang is actually my board president and he is the youngest executive director in the state of Wisconsin, but is one of the most experienced. Um, and I think that that says a lot about, again, the talent, the resiliency um, of our community as a whole, um, not just here, but of course nationwide. Um, again, a lot of first happening and I hope that that continues to inspire and empower everybody. That is why it is so important for us to stand together, to be united and to continue doing the work that we do. It is so important. And I hope that you all will be alongside this journey with us um, to support each other. Um, and also to, again, amplify and elevate each other. That is so important. Uh, when somebody wins, we all win. And when somebody falls, we help them get back up, right? Everything is a team sport. Just like a motorcycle, it takes all the years to come together, to work together, and it takes a person driving the vehicle, right, to be successful. Um, and so I hope that all of you in this room know how important each of you are um, in this journey and in the legacy of our community. And so thank you, Aiden, for, again, being such a great prime example of that. Um, and welcome to Wisconsin. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Um, good evening. I am going to say some bang, some remarks and bang before I start my speech. Hi, Rony Shadow, the Gatane Jatsi Kuchi, so hi, Lumenke, um, go high, come a maid on the old, they go high, Lumika, I go a high, color, or aid in here, you know, to a compe, a big, go a high tall, so gay or big young, so yay, or to a tall, to take your mechanical day, just share with your floor, a little bit of a little pape, which I share him. Good evening, everyone. What an evening. I am just so deeply inspired, especially by Maine's speech and everybody here and this whole month all together. I wish all of you could have been in every step that I've been in this whole month. Before I start, I just want to truly recognize Yiling Zhang and his team. If you guys can stand up so we can all give you a round of applause for your commitment. Thank you. These folks, they work all hours of the night and they don't get enough recognition and they are so committed to this community, to Marathon County and the city of Wausau. Their continued efforts to elevate our people and provide education and access to resources in ways like today, providing representation, it inspires our community to reach a higher quality of life right here in Marathon County and the city of Wausau. Along with everything else, 
in the state of Wisconsin, we just had our first annual economic Hmong conference in Eau Claire two weeks ago, where there were Hmong professional talent from all over the nation attending. To last week's event at UWSP of Wausau, we had Lori Lee, a Hmong author, author of seven mainstream nonfiction books. And now her book, Pahua and the Soul Stealers, is on its way to Disney Plus. And she's right in Appleton. And tonight, Tony Lee, you graced us with your voice. And Aiden, I can't wait to hear your story. <laughs> Again, I'm Vlada Zhang Bang, president of Central Wisconsin Hmong Professionals. It's an honor and privilege to have Aiden visit our community today to share his story and journey. We understand now more than ever how important representation matters, and it matters here in Redland County. Aiden Tao, thank you for showing up for the Hmong community. It is a privilege to have you here and see you turn back to pull us up alongside you. And so all of you understand why it's a privilege, I will reiterate what Han Shua said earlier. There are many successful Hmong people who have walked away from the Hmong identity, the culture, and the people. And that's okay because that's their right. But the Hmong community loses. We lose to share knowledge. We lose representation. We lose mentorship. There isn't enough of us. So thank you, Aiden, for continuing to embrace our Hmong identity and educating us with your story. Our strong immigrant parents were uprooted from all that they've known, physically, mentally, and spiritually, to a country they knew nothing about, not even the language. Picking up the broken pieces of a war-torn war life and starting at ground zero for a better life for their children. So yes, our collective community hopes every generation after will embrace the identity and turn back to elevate us alongside them. Because you are younger, you are smarter, and you're definitely faster, Aiden. <laughs> Your ability to craft the hybrid identities of tomorrow are so creative and endless. You continue to evolve in ways that generations before you can only imagine. And when you choose to bring people along, you change our story. I will share an excerpt from Margaret Wheatley's book, Who Do We Choose to Be? Section Interconnected in Biology, or Interconnectedness in Biology. As the system's view of life gained authority as the best explanatory lens for understanding how life works, it reframed the role of collaboration. Unlike our veneration of competition as the means to survive, collaboration is what most essential is collaboration is what is most essential to life's flourishing. Symbiosis is no longer a curious phenomenon, but the fundamental fundamental process that spawn, spawns life, beginning at the micro, microbial level. The process by which all complex ecosystems form. This fundamental shift introduced a type of ethics in biology. Ethics is how we behave when we decide we belong together. With this ethic of collaboration, individual behavior takes on new meaning. As an organism interacts with its environment, individual actions impact the health of the ecosystem far beyond its nearest neighbors. Aiden Tao, your simple decision to show up today may seem small, but it goes deep. It has already played a part in changing the fabric of our Hmong community. By your decision to hold on to your identity while excelling in the work you do, by following your dreams and committing to be the best, to refine yourself with every win, you have already provided us a mere glimpse of our own capabilities. Thank you for showing up and being the best you. I will leave all of you with this. No matter how you feel, get up, dress up, show up, and never give up. And be you because everyone else is already taken. Thank you, Aiden Tao, for choosing to be you. All right, guys. Um, I first want to thank each and every one of you guys for showing up tonight. It does mean a lot. 
to see a lot of familiar faces back in my home state. Um, thank you everyone who has said a lot of the kind words and had the opportunity to come up here. And I got to meet each and every one of you guys that are here tonight. And I really appreciate each and every one of you guys for all the kind words that you guys have said. And um, you know, I'm sure we'll have a great time once all of this is over. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Lance, for being here as well. It's, it's a pleasure for you guys to attend this, uh, this beautiful night. So thank you, guys. Thank you for this opportunity to be up here on the stage tonight in front of so many of you. First of all, thank you to the Hmong American Center, the Wisconsin United Coalition of Mutual Assistance Associations, and Central Wisconsin Hmong Professionals for hosting this event. Thank you to the Hmong American Center for your sponsorship for my 2022 race program. This past weekend was the conclusion of the final race of the 2022 Moto America Superbike Championship. I finished the Junior Cup Championship in sixth place with a field of riders of 36. I could not have been able to compete in the nine rounds of 18 races this year if it was not for each and every one of you guys and all the generous donations from my sponsors. I would like to recognize the following. Wisconsin will always have a special place in my heart. I was born in Madison and raised in California. I am proud to call Madison, Wisconsin my birthplace. I am also super proud of my heritage and where I have came from. I could not have gone where I am today if not for the recognition of how important it is for me to have pride in myself, my people, my community, and our country. I have traveled to many places and aboard what makes me special is that I have a strong, supportive Hmong community. You have all made a difference to my success and I am not only representing myself, I am representing each and every one of you guys. Whenever I win, we all win. It is my hope that I could be a role model to our younger people, to always strive and to be their best in whatever they choose. It is my hope that, I, that my mom and dad, uncles, aunts, brothers and sisters in our community can give back to the younger generation by teaching, listening, and guiding and allowing them to pursue their dreams to make an impact. I believe we have came a long ways from our grandparents' generations and struggles, and it is our turn to give back to them and lead our younger generation to new heights. This is just the beginning of many more years of hard work and dedication in my field of profession, motorcycle racing. As I move up in my racing career, I am excited to share them all with you. Next year, my plan is to move up on a bigger, more powerful bike, competing with new riders from all around the globe. We share in one passion of racing, fast and a competitiveness of the sport provides that we all have obstacles to overcome each and every time we go on track. It is not just racing on a bike, but is racing against ourselves, perfecting our skills and strategies. It is using every ounce of our muscle memory, our power physically and mentally to cross that checker flag with each and every other rider and to share our passion of racing. Just like in everyday life, we must not give up. Instead, we must compete with ourselves to be the best version of us. We rise when we have fallen, and we must rise together to be stronger. I am so thankful to have each and every one of you behind me to help me make this dream possible. Thank you for all believing me, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to represent you on the world stage. Together, we can make an impact, and we will all go further and faster. 
Thank you all for your support and thank you all for coming tonight. Thank you. Um, I want to start off though by saying that every time I hear Lada and Meng speak, I always feel like we're going to get in trouble and I feel like we're going to get in trouble tonight as well. So I'm going to start off with that. So, um, But first and foremost, I want to use this opportunity here to greet every single friends and family members that's here with us today. Representative Snyder, uh, Mayor Rosenberg, Administrator Leonard, Batang Na Shua, Batang Ning Hyu Hyung, Director Ming Zhong, uh, President Lada Zhang Bang, other elected officials such as Sheriff Scott Parks, um, stakeholders, organizational leaders, and distinguished guests. I want to use this opportunity to thank Shuomong News, specifically Richard Vang, uh, for being here along with your wife, for covering this and always being a big supporter of Aiden. So I'm always, uh, so we want to express a deep appreciation to you. But most importantly, I want to use this opportunity here to acknowledge and to acknowledge and thank Mr. Lo Ta and Ms. Debbie Tao for being such wonderful parents. If you two could please stand up uh, to be recognized, that would be great. And obviously, we are here today for our special and our guest of honor, Aiden Tao. Aiden, if you can stand to be recognized as well, too. Before I continue with my remarks, I want to use this opportunity to acknowledge all the hardworking individuals who have made this event possible. Please join me in thanking uh, the Aroas Dance Group. If the dance groups from Aroas Dance Group can please stand up to be recognized. <laughs> Mr. Tony Lee, if you can please wave. We, let's thank him for all his wonderful performance. I want to thank all the speakers. If all speakers can please stand to be recognized, that would be greatly appreciated as well, too. All speakers, please stand up to be recognized. I also want to express a deep appreciation to the wonderful staff at Jefferson Street Inn for accommodating all our needs so we can give them a round of applause as well. Now I want to make sure that everybody knows that this event would have never been possible had it not been for the generous financial and technical support provided by the Central Wisconsin Monk Professionals and the Wisconsin United Coalition of Mutual Assistance Association. If we can give them another round of applause. And the reason as to why the Hmong American Center continues to be able to host these events and continues to grow at a steady pace is due to the continuous support of our board of directors. If all Hmong American Center board of directors please, uh, and advisors are here, please stand to be recognized. Last but definitely not least, I want to use this opportunity here to acknowledge my amazing staff for what they've done to make this event a success. I was alone at the Hmong American Center for three years and I know how lonely it could be, so I'm just so proud to wake up every single day feeling extremely blessed working with such committed and dedicated individuals. If all staff um, and HAC staff and volunteers can please wave or stand up to be recognized, this would be your time. If we can all give them a moment. You know, oftentimes when we talk about the community's success or America's success, oftentimes the Hmong community has been left out. Um, we, there's been several events that's been held in the local area here where we acknowledge the success and accomplishments of the Karen community, but the Hmong community is always an afterthought or we were brought up into the discussions the day before the event action happens. But nonetheless, we continue to strive and continue to do everything we can here to ensure success, to continue to promote success and promote and acknowledge these. Well, we've seen this time and time again. Um, Aiden, we are very proud of you because you are in the embodiment of, of the American dream. You are what we are, we, our parents have strived for. We, our parents have always fought very hard to ensure that we have a strong foundation to stand on so that we can ensure our success. And we are very proud of you. And um, I will continue to, to claim you as a Wisconsin Knight. Um, even though you live in California, I'm going to keep calling you a Wisconsin Knight until you move back to Wisconsin. So I uh, just want to make that clear. <laughs> you 
Now, this is the part that I think I'm going to get in trouble for. Okay, so several years back, I had the blessing or the honor of attending the Hmong National Development Conference, and I remember I was there, and I was and one of the keynote speaker was Steve Lee, who was a who was the first Hmong mayor of this uh, first mayor of Hmong descent. And I remember Guy Ying, our interpreter, asked him the question, "What does it mean for Hmong to love Hmong, or what is Hmong to you?" And the mayor looked at Steve. He says, Hmong is love. And he goes, no matter where you go, though, there's one thing that's unique about the Hmong community, is you can go anywhere in this country here, and as long as you have Hmong, in, as long as you say you're a Hmong, you can somehow find, find that you're related to them, some way, somehow. <laughs> but not only that, you can ask them for help, and they would do everything they can. Whether it's donating one dollar, two dollars, whether it's the um, the, the businessman who donates five thousand dollars, the organization that puts together town hall sessions or meet and greets, or the old the grandma who donates three dollars and forty cents because they want to support you, that is what it means to be mom. And one of the most amazing thing about this is that Aiden is mom, and we're so proud to have him here. And this is the part where I'm going to get in trouble because originally, I, because I told myself that um, because of the pandemic, I, I was one of those individuals that had caught that caught COVID, and I told myself I was going to be more action driven rather than just promising. And if we, so tonight, I'm going to make a promise that I will match up to any five to five hundred dollars of any donation that anyone donates to the Aiden today, because we know that Aiden is now striving to be success, and it's no longer his parents who are the only ones that can support. We as a community need to continue to support him and encourage him to continue chasing the American dream. And as as Mink has said. Dare to succeed and dare to dream. So today, I am uh, on my own behalf. I will be matching up any donations tonight up to five hundred dollars that contributed towards uh, towards Aiden to ensure that he continues on his American dream. Um, so, and with that said, I I am just so happy and thrilled to be able to be here in the presence of such loving individuals. And I continue to hope that each and every single one of you will speak to Aiden and get to know him as well too and hear his story um, and continue to support one another as we continue to chase what is known as the American dream. And with that said, once again, I want to thank each and every single one of you for your time and your contributions and your dedication to our community. We do have some pictures from, uh, from Aiden as well too and he will be willing to sign that and give it out to any individuals as well too. So thank you all for your time, for joining us today, for for gracing us with your presence. And I look forward to seeing all of you once again. Thank you.